like give an introduction. What is the fly ash? Fly ash is a supplementary cementitious material that produced from the co-burning power plants. They consist of the two types of the fly ash, which is the class F and the class C. Class F fly ash that consists less than 50% of the line content. That is an ideal cementitious material that because it is can gain the moderate heat. Besides that, the class F fly ash that consists of more than 50% of the line contents. It can use for the soil stabilization, performance mix, and also to develop the high early strength. Come, let me introduce what is the fry ash. Nowadays, many research has been done on the high volume fry ash concrete. What is the fry ash high volume concrete? There's a concrete contents more than 50% of the fry ash used. What? Through the research, it can prove that high-volume fry ash, then it can to improve the performance of the concrete. What the performance has been improved? There's improved the durability, they resist more cracks, and they have to develop the lattice strength. They can to have a high fracturing and speed tensile strength and workabilities. I will discuss about the durability of high-volume fry ash concrete. The water permeability and water absorption of high volume flash concrete is low and decreased with time. It has high durability compared to a normal Portland cement concrete. It has less permeability and enhanced high durability. So based on the research done by the Mark Porta, the high volume flash concrete with 14, 21 and 28 days of moisture curing has no significantly to freezing and towing after 300 of cycling. It means it has good resistance to freezing and towing uh, of fly ash, high volume fly ash concrete. High volume fly ash concrete has low chlorine ion penetration compared to normal pollen cement concrete. It has good resistance to the chlorine attack and it can reduce the chlorine diffusion and any deterioration to the concrete. For the alkali aggregate reaction, high volume fly ash concrete with alkali and without alkali is compared to a control sample with alkali and without alkali. The result shows that the high volume fly ash concrete has no expansion in the concrete mixture and it can reduce the expansion in terms of, term of alkali aggregate reaction. High volume fresh concrete shows many benefits in many aspects. However, it may make some improvement to further optimize its performance. So, firstly, we can add in the air and training and mixture to achieve a better air work system to produce the less freeze and thaw degradation and less bleeding and segregation. Also, we should ensure that there is a correct mix design of the proportion, such as cementing materials, aggregates, and the water. So, we can use the finer flat edge and low carbon content. Also, the fly ash should consist of 20% to 60% of the total cement content to achieve the optimum factorial strength. This uh, fly ash concrete shows a very slow setting time at the beginning. We can add in the set accelerating mixture to increase the setting time. We can also heat in the aggregate and the water before the mixing. We also can add in the super plasticizer to reduce the water demand without reducing the cement content to achieve the daily high air strength. We also can uh, reduce the heat of the hydrogen to avoid the thermal breaking. Last but not least, this is also a various way to improve the performance of the fly ash concrete. So firstly, adequate fly ash to control the alkali silica expansion, adequate clearing and drying period to increase the resistance to the external invasion, and also use the fly ash of the class F or class C plus the silica film to cope with the relatives that we get. That's all from us. We hope that the information we share helped you a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye!